I'm gonna show you how to start a podcast in 2019 and all the equipment and software that you're gonna need at the best prices and we're getting started right now. What's up, what's going on? Zachary Babcock here. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, what's up? Nice to meet you. My name is Zachary Babcock. I'm a top 200 rated podcaster. I interview celebrities, professional athletes, and industry leaders in my space. And why that's so important? Launching a top shelf podcast real quickly, I was spent over five years of my life in prison. I was uh, got into un entrepreneurship when I turned my life around and nobody gave me the time of day before. Nobody would uh, take me seriously. I was just the ex-con entrepreneur afterthought. However, once I launched my podcast and became a top 200 rated podcast on iTunes in the first week, now all of a sudden I went from the ex-con prisoner, entrepreneur, afterthought to people literally banging on my doors, opportunities flowing my way, um, and my status and respect and influence increase. Now my perfect clients and uh, perfect connections line up to get with me. So that's the power of podcasting. And I'm going to show you over the course of the next three videos, maybe more, um, exactly what you need to do to launch a top shelf podcast from absolutely nothing. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. The first thing we're gonna talk about is equipment. So for equipment, I recommend this microphone. It's called the Audio-Technica ATR2100. And it's under $100. Um, I'm gonna link up all the equipment that I recommend in this video in the description below for you to check out. This is under $100. It's high quality. What I love most about it, it plugs right into my Mac with the US USB cable so there's no confusing cables to get it hooked in and it sounds top-notch so that's what I would recommend as far as your microphone now um, you're gonna need a pop filter which is this guy right here which um, blocks all the and uh, you know sounds that will make your uh, volume sound distorted so this deal is like less than 20 bucks I think it's really like less than ten dollars honestly I'll have it linked up in the comments below as well in the description below and then you're gonna need a, a boom arm and this boom arm is 20 bucks it's a newer boom arm uh, I got the Knox pop filter and the newer boom arm and uh, it's less than twenty dollars and this way you can adjust it and it fits right onto your desk so I can put it wherever that I like, move it around, adjust it. Right now I got to adjust it perfectly for when I podcast. Uh, and it just makes life easier. Then finally, what you'll need as far as equipment would be what this little guy is right here. It's called a shock mount. And it stops like if people bang on the desk or something, it's not gonna distort the volume. And it's uh, you can get them for 20 or 30 bucks. This one uh, cost me uh, 20 bucks, I believe. And it's also gonna be linked up in the description below. Everything, including Equipment and software, everything that I've gotten for my podcast and be, to become a top 200 rated podcaster, I spent less than $200 total on all my podcasting gear. So it's not expensive at all. It's really easy to go ahead and get started with podcasting. All righty, next thing up is software. So for software, I use uh, GarageBand. It's a free software. Um, on it comes with your Mac computer and if you're on a PC you can use audacity which is also free and for this purpose of this video I'll give you a quick tutorial real short and sweet on how to use GarageBand um, and audacity is really familiar really really similar in the sense of that so with that being said let's dive straight into what we're gonna do as far as using our software Alrighty, let's go through this short sweet and very quick and easy to use tutorial on how to use GarageBand on a Mac that's what we're doing it on. If you're on a PC, you could do this on Audacity. Yeah, the setup might be just a tad bit different. So the first thing is that we are gonna have to hook up our microphone. So you simply um, hook in the USB cord to your microphone, then you plug it into your Mac, and then you would turn the microphone on. After you do that, then you would wanna go to your system preferences on your Mac, right up here in the top left corner. Then once you get here, you wanna go to sound, and then for this, um, you know, that's cool. Uh, the output, yeah, we can use internal speakers for this part. You may or may not need to switch it to, to the ATR, but for the input, we need to have the U, the ATR USB microphone selected. It will show up when you have it plugged in. So you wanna make sure that that is selected and that is what you're using. For the input volume, I just have it all the way up uh, at 100%. And uh, this is uh, just the volume when I have my computer set up on the, at the time. So we are good to go here. We'll exit out of that. Then we're gonna go to GarageBand, which I have in my little toolbar, toolbar down at the bottom. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna bring us to this first screen. Then we are gonna go ahead and select Empty Project. 
double click on that, it's gonna bring us to this screen. Now, mine's already selected, but yours might be defaulted on this. This is uh, a software for, you know, recording music, and it's set up that way, but you can also record podcasts. So let's make sure you have the microphone selected, and then when you have that, as long as it says my instrument is connected with ATR, USB microphone, you're good to go. Hit create. Boom, now it's set up. So like I mentioned, this is optimized for creative music. So they already have it set up with the monotone and the cadence and everything and, and showing like uh, the, the the actual beat and tempo and all that. And we don't want it mono, um, optimized for that way. See, listen, if I were hit play. See, it's got the monotone going and all that. We don't want that going for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first come to this little drop down right here where it says display mode on the side on the clock and we're going to change that to time that'd be a lot easier for us podcasters then we're going to turn both the count in and the click the monotone off they're purple right now we just click them and now they're off now we're good to go the very first track you want to do like i mentioned you're going to want to create a hook uh you're going to want to draw them in you're going to want to give them a reason why to to put that phone in their pocket. Once they put the phone in the pocket, that's a magical, uh, that, that's a magical experience at that point. They're gonna tune in, they're, they, they've committed to checking you out. So we'll make our hook, we'll simply hit the red record button. And this is the hook that we're gonna drive people in and uh, give them a reason to listen to our podcast episode. We click stop whenever we're ready to stop. And we can come over here and check it out. We drag this uh, up here in between the numbers and between the audio right here up top. If you click in that area, you see where I'm clicking, that's how you move it. Or you can click it and drag it all the way. Boom. And this is the hook that we're gonna drive people in and uh, give them a reason to listen to our podcast episode. Perfect. Now you see I stopped it where I would want it to ideally stop, but it kept recording before that, so I stopped it right there. I had this thing selected, so now I can just hit Command T to split it it just split those in two and it has this one highlighted if it had this one highlighted i wouldn't want to delete it but it has this one i can delete and then i would uh throw in the next track so we hit this little plus button up here for new tracks and we have the microphone selected and we'll enter that and here's where i put in my intro you guys can get an intro made you want to make sure the music that you use in any podcast this is very important that it is royalty free or else apple will not accept it and other directories will not accept it and you won't get your show posted so always make sure that you buy your music or that it's royalty free you can buy it on audiojungle.com and there's so many other websites out there and you can just buy the music and record an intro and make it cool for the time being and you can always upgrade and enhance it later on i uh bought music recorded a little intro and then sent it to my buddy who put some audio enhancements in it and put some ad libs into it and made it sound really cool so you can just drag and drop files i have my intro here under my brand assets right here i just click and hold and drag it right in and drop it where i want it and boom there we go so what I want to do next is to line this up so I can make this, what I'm looking at, the tracks bigger by going to the top right over here where this little bar is, horizontal zoom, and I'll just move it over to the right a little bit. And now I can see uh, exactly where I want it to come in, and I'll move and adjust it probably right about there would be good. Let's see how that sounds. And uh, give them a reason to listen to our podcast episode. So here's the big question. Now you see my uh, audio levels are much higher on my intro, so I'm going to turn that down. I usually turn mine down to a six, yours might be different. And it wasn't quite lined up where I want it, so I'm going to click and hold on it and drag it over just a little bit more. I'm a reason to listen to our podcast episode. Uh, so here's the big question. What's up? Perfect. So next we would add another track. Just click add. And we're gonna we're we're selected on that track. I can move this track down if I wanted to, you know, but I, I don't want to. But I could if I wanted to. Um, I'm you see how that's highlighted, so that's where I'd be recording. If I press record right now, it'd be on the middle track. But I want it on this track, so I want to record right there. And I can just put it over here, and I can come back and move the audio. I just don't want anything else to be playing. Um, if I did want to start exactly on the spot, I could click right here. Then I can mute these other tracks just by clicking this little speaker button right here, and that track is now muted. And that way I could come in just like I am right now, and this is the meat and potatoes of the interview, or if it's just a solo episode and I'm going through my bullet list. Either way, now this is like the main track, and I'd talk, and then I would add my outro after I got done talking. 
and that's really simple and you would go through here and go through all your stuff and you see how we broke this down like the 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 hook would be recorded separately the main part where you go through your bullet points would be recorded separately if you wanted to add a final word you can add another track and and add like a final summary word that you would do that I like to do on mine and then you can go ahead and add your outro um, so here let's do the final word and turn that one back on and select our right track and this is the final word of the podcast where I'm gonna give a quick summary of what we just talked about boom and now I would now I'd want to uh, take that and line it up and get it sounding how I would want it to sound and boom we're good it takes less than a few seconds and then for the outro I would add my outro which I also have in my brand assets and voila then I would of course go through here make sure I'm starting it on time to set, so it sounds good make sure I turn that down to a six because I know that's loud talked about thank you for tuning in and there you have it that is how you easily um, use GarageBand a so short and sweet easy to use tutorial video um, for uh, in the next video I'm gonna go over if you're uh, interviewing people on your show which is a little bit different and I'm also gonna go into detail about how to export when we go to share and export song to this so we can export this and make this an mp3 file so that we can upload it to iTunes I'm gonna cover all that in the next video all right it's really simple very very cut and dry really really straight to the point it's really not that hard and um, you know I remember when I was starting my podcast I was feeling like man I don't know if I could do all this stuff I don't know how to edit videos I don't know all the softwares and equipment but uh, as I studied and learned it really wasn't um, difficult at all it was just you know you don't know what you don't know and that's why we're making this video here so now you can know as well too now before we conclude this video it is ultra important to uh, hammer down and and really get this part right and what's what I call the four W's it's gonna set you up for long-term podcasting success and the four W's are first is the who who is your audience obviously if you don't have an audience you're speaking to air so you got to really think about that and when I say about your audience it's kind of like the same thing as in business where you got to do your market research and make an ideal um, customer avatar well it's kind of the same thing with this but it's a little bit different so you do want to you know have your ideal audience that you want to speak to however if in business let's just use a hypothetical situation you were in e-commerce you know you can have multiple audiences that are nothing alike that have nothing to do with you right and uh, it can be like a you know uh, for people that love pins that are really expensive or whatever uh, and you'd be selling to people like that and that can be like part of your the, the, the demographic and the, um, the psychographics of your ideal customer avatar but in podcasting it's a little bit different because in e-commerce you don't have to be the face and you can just be running ads or whatever and selling in podcasting however you are the face or the voice of your show and people are going to be tuning in because they want to dig they, they're digging you and they want to hear your thoughts your unique perspective and morals and values on things so with podcasting what i recommend is to let's use another hypothetical situation say you're have a podcast about e-commerce for the sake of keeping things in, in, in the same line more likely you're going to be passionate you're passionate about e-commerce so you wouldn't have a podcast about it and you're going to be teaching things that you already know and that you're learning on your podcast with your audience so i recommend is to your audience to be who you were yesterday um, because people are going to connect with you and if you try to act like something that you're not people are it's going to push people off however if you just be you and are not afraid to say what you truly believe and um, you're not going to hold back punches uh, because you're scared of what other people might think about you but you're going to speak your truths that for me and my personal experience I found is be one of the key things that um, the reason why people like to tune into me and my brain and hear my thoughts on things because I uh, be myself which I wasn't early on in my uh, in, when I started creating content and it kind of came into this that's very important the second W is what what is your podcast about and you got to be able to articulate that in one sentence very clear and concise uh, and it's ultra important people got to know what it is that your show is about is it for them or not and um, it, I, I give an example like you know it, it, it's just communicating properly and it's just like throwing uh, throwing a ball in, in baseball and we all know a bad throw in baseball could cost you cost your team a run or could potentially cost you the game if people can't 
instantly know what your podcast is about when they check out your show description. Or if they ask you, hey man, what's your podcast about? And you can't tell them in one sentence really clearly. Um, they may never even tune in and check you out in the first place. And you might have an awesome podcast uh, and they could end up being a, a raving fan that shares it with all their friends and talks about it all the time. Yet you just miss out on this person because you didn't communicate clearly. So you got to know exactly what it is that your show is about. The next W you got to get down is the where. Where is your podcast taking them? What's the mission behind it uh, that you're bringing your audience along for? Uh, people need a fearless leader that they can get behind that can clearly articulate faith in the future that what they want, a future that they desire. So, for instance, people that fear the future, they tend to cling on to the present and, and they paralyze and they, they don't move forward. However, people that have faith in the future, it renders them perceptive to, to change. So that's your job as a leader is to clearly articulate the message of a future that they desire that gives them faith in the future so that they will move forward. So you really got to hammer that down on your podcast of what is, where is the mission, where are you taking them? Now, finally, the fourth W is really important. It's the why. Why should people listen to you? Uh, what makes you different? What makes you unique? Why should they tune in and care about your podcast? So what I like to do is I like to get, I, I have all my students that sit down and I say, list out 10 other podcasts, top podcasts that you really enjoy and that are crushing it in your space. So say, let's go back to the e-commerce example. If you're in e-commerce, find other 10 podcasts, the top 10 in that space. Now you have this list of people that could potentially be guests, the hosts that could come onto your show and maybe possibly you go on their show as guests. But more importantly also is you can take back using that sheet that you have and look at it and like, well, what makes me unique and different in uh, my podcast show different from these other 10 that I've listed out. And that gives you a way to come up with a creative angle, a creative way to separate yourself from these other podcasts and be unique. And that's what people are going to come tune in for you. Uh, for example, with me, I use, uh, you know, from living with convicts for over five years in prison to rubbing elbows with multimillionaires every day. I am a student of psychology, business and marketing with a unique and broad perspective from both extremes of life. And I share everything that I learn in this process to empower underdogs to level up and prove the haters wrong. That is unique. You know, not everybody's been to prison has like that percep per per that perspective of a really low extreme to perception of a really high. And that gives me that unique ability and that's why people want to tune in. Now you obviously may, may or may not have been to prison and uh, a lot of people haven't. And you don't have to have some crazy story, but there's some way that you can come up that gives you a unique angle that separates yourself from these other podcasts in your space that'll go ahead and give you uh, a reason for people that would want to come and check you out. All right, so hammer down those four W's. And then lastly, uh, there's these three other things to think about before you go and uh, get your podcast rolling. And I'm going to walk you step by step through the next couple of videos as well on actually how to launch your podcast hosting services. Uh, show notes, uh, publishing to the directories, the iTunes, all that, getting your show up and running, every single little thing I got you covered in these next few videos. So think about though, you're going to think about what is your show title and then you're going to have to have your show description. So your show title is the, the name of your show. Mine's Underdog Empowerment. And then you're going to have to have your description, your show description, which is going to give them a reason why they should tune in. So when you hammer down the four W's, this will be easier and easy to fill out. And then finally, you want to get your cover art, your podcast cover art, which is what is posted in these directories like iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and Google Play. Um, you can get those done. You can do them yourself on Canva or Photoshop if you're a really good graphic designer. You can hire somebody on Fiverr to do it. Uh, I recommend to be careful if you go on Fiverr, find somebody that's got really good reviews and look at their work and see if it's really good and up to par because uh, you don't want to go cheap on this stuff. Um, and then uh, get that locked in. And after you get those three locked in, then we're ready for the next step. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to get, uh, how to use these softwares um, so that you can do interviews with other people, like the format of your episodes, like how you would want to lay them out versus if it was a solo episode or if you were interviewing other people. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do the, um, the ID, ID3 tags, the metadata and all that stuff for Apple so that you can 
gonna upload it to Apple and get it uploaded to your hosting service. So be sure to check that out. We're getting ready to dive into that. And before we check out these next videos, I have my podcast roadmap where I literally go through all this, what I'm going through you now, step by step by step, and add on additional nuance that's gonna take you from having absolutely nothing from scratch to launching your podcast, a top shelf podcast. So be sure to check that out. Check that out. It's in the description below. I'll also post it in the comments below and uh, get your equipment set up. Those links are in the description below. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and make sure you check out the next video because we're about to launch a top shelf podcast. See you in a second. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. Uh -huh. It's that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell. Yeah,